hi to all in this video tutorial we will discuss how to monetize ads in android applications using google ad mob if you see in my blog you have a already uh, video tutorial on the ad mob so here we are going to discuss updated one why updated one in the sense we will discuss clearly so here you will see publishing apps in uh, sorry uh, publishing ads in added applications using ad mob so in this video you can understand how to publish the ads in added applications using ad mob but here we are going for the uh, updated ad mob tutorial why it is required in essence clearly we will understand first we need to open the site admob.com so I am opening admob.com and we need to sign in first of all sign into admob and we are going to sign in with your google account maximum everyone is having google account so we need to sign in with google account so i am going to sign in i am not going to tell the password So you will see normally if you open this ad mob we will get the option called create new app but here we are not getting any options or how much we earned previously that information also we are not getting here why because the reason is they are going to change the ad mob that's why you will see we are uh, sorry here clearly they are going to uh, whenever you are opening ad mob they will tell you the current ad mob is going to shut down from august 31 onwards that is a reason why we are going to discuss this one more video tutorial on the ad mob so previous uh, video tutorial is going to explain how to work with the ad mob using this dashboard now we are going to understand from the new dashboard so here you will get an option to migrate to the new one so already i migrated you will get the option here it's very user friendly that's why once you transform your data from old dashboard to that's we are going to call it a legacy ad mob uh, to the new ad mob then you will get this message we are done transferring your data to the new ad mob so that here we are going to the new ad mob after uh, transforming your data here you will see the option called the new ad mob just uh, select this one so successfully your data has been imported to this ad mob site new one then you will get this message data import completed created six apps six ad units and zero campaigns so if you see here you will get the options like this oh monetize promote analysis and how much you earn uh, they will show you here estimated earnings, monetize, and uh, how we got, how many requests we got. Everything you will get here now. So how much you earn? Actually, it should show me the cost, but it is updating. Keep on. That's why we are not getting a uh, correct information here. I'm expecting that soon we are going to get everything in this uh, dashboard. But don't bother. Uh, they are showing the request how many we got and so many things but they are not going to show you the what are the estimated earnings in the previous dashboard we are getting clearly now they are not displaying that estimated earnings this is a new site they are building so we will get everything soon so what we need to do in the sense we need to select here monetize then it will show you the applications here left side what are the applications already we have created otherwise if you go to the home also right here it will show you the applications you will see these are the applications previously i have created and in these applications i have used the ad mom concept so what i am doing we need to go for the new application right we need to discuss in the new application how we are going to monetize the ad so first we need to select the monetize new app here we have an options promote new app analyze new app and monetize new app we need to select this one monetize new app so here we need to select 
add your app manually so here we need to provide application name so already we have an application right in which application we are going to publish the ad so I'm going to create one saying that sample add mob example next minimum stk version I am taking 4.0 later I can change that one next selecting MD activity finish uh, very few changes we got here that's a dashboard design and the way we are creating application in the admob that's it now programming remain thing is same And one more thing, this AdMob programming we are writing, that means the to write an AdMob program in your application, we are going to use the API from the Google Play services. So we need to import the Google Play services library project into our Eclipse. We know that clearly, first of all, we need to download the Google Play services library package using SDK manager. So we'll get under extras, Google Play, services already google play services has been installed just i need to import that one so import uh, existing android code into workspace in your system where your AAT bundle has been located go to that location open your AAT bundle open the sdk folder if you open the extras folder inside you will find the google open that one you will find the google play services and select the library project and import it after importing add the google play services library to our application so select the application and right click and select properties select android if you click on add it will show you the library select it and add it after adding one more time you need to check whether google play services library has been added successfully or not into your project so we got this kind of error already we discussed in the previous video tutorial like um, Google Maps so what we need to do for this solution is only one I'll tell you what is that simple go to your location where your ART bundle has been located so here I'm having STK extras Google Google Play services copy library project and paste into your current Eclipse workspace folder. So my current Eclipse workspace folder is this one. So I'm pasting here. And from here you need to import the library project. Uh, previously why we got error in this is a lengthy problem, lengthy path problem. That's it. It's a common thing. Browse on the desktop my apps the, pro, the current workspace folder the project now we need to add properties android add and click on apply so again we need to check whether uh, library project added successfully or not right here library project added successfully okay fine next we need to go to the site and we need to add the application application name is sample add mob example so here you need to give the name sample add mob add mob example here you should select the platform i'm selecting the platform from android uh, Android for Android and click on add up next it's going to take you the second step uh, we have a two types of add mob ads that is one is banner another one is industrial so we are going to select the banner and here it will show you the ad type automatic refresh text style the ad is going to looks like this and add unit name you need to provide some name the example also they are providing here just give this one And after that we are going to click on save it will take you the third step just 
we are going to click on this you can read this one follow the google developers website complete instructions on how to integrate the google admob sdk just uh, do one thing it's very simple Sell, uh, open this google admob sdk link in another link another tab why because it will show you how to write a program regarding this admob and click on create another add unit So it has been created. You can check here. Click on home. Right, you'll see. Uh, and uh, here, our application is uh, is it sample add mob example. And just to click on monetize. And if you click on here, you select the application. Then you'll get the ID for your application. Add unit ID. This is very important. You'll see CA app up. Uh, this is very important this is the id we are going to use in our application next already we have opened the documentation so here you will see how to monetize the uh, the means to monetize the uh, what is the program we need to write so you can read this one after that we will just select getting started and here is a uh, android google play and some other things ios and windows so here uh, clearly they are going to mention what kind of things you need to do this is the uh, way this is the process to import the google play services library already we done that one so just we need to take the programming and just uh, they are going to explain with the permissions what you need to add so here just go to here here we have everything first to take the metadata tag and add that one into your manifest file next we need to take the one more activity tag that is the add activity that is also we should register in the manifest file and after that we need to add a permissions internet permission network state permission we have added that one right fine next we need to select this next guide so here you will see the code what we need to incorporate into your application that is a java code so we can do two, two things using completely java code we can display the ad otherwise you can use the xml integration also if you open this in xml so in the xml file uh, right right you see you can download and uh, right create your banner in xml file in the xml file you need to take the tag that is called uh, add view you will see com.google.anet.gms.ads.addio this one you need to take and i think they are giving the uh, you will see you can download an example project containing this code sample code here just if you can download this one also even if you download this one right you will see the code they are, what they are displaying if you open the rest folder the layout activity underscore main nothing that means they are doing everything in the java code if you open the source folder here you will get the java code you will see the same thing what we are having here so let us do that one already i told you uh, you uh, if you want to create a view in the xml file and write a java code you should take this tag this view once you are taking the view here you will see ads colon add unit id you should add your unit id here now and usually you most replace my add unit id with your add unit id note that inclusion of the ads namespace referred in specifying add unit and add size these two things are very important here right fine i will see how to load the ad if you are taking the uh, if you are taking a view in the XML and this is the program you need to add now, right? So let us do that one. First, you need to take this uh, vocabulary. We are taking this. So this is my uh, XML. Just uh, add it to your 
parent layout and I'm changing this one just uh, to linear layout next just take this view and I'm going to take here anyway it's your choice now you will see required XML attribute add size was missing right we have an add size right no problem next you see it is asking add unit ID we have an add unit ID here take this one and replace it here next clearly the code what we need to keep in Java that is this one so go to your java code right the package you need to import this one I will see first we are going to call the view from the XML that is add view we are calling it after that we need to create an object for the add request that is going to send a request to the server using the load add method right we are well, we are fine with this just check it out how it is going to work so i'm running this one in the my mobile So I'm running it in my mobile. Why? Because we are using uh, Google Play services. You may not able to run your uh, example in your uh, emulator. Why? Because we know that emulator is not going to support the Google Play services. That's why we need to check this one in the real device only. Remember that one. Otherwise, if you are running in the emulator, you will get an error. That means you will get an exception. Okay. Right. So still it is launching. Right, uh, I'm going to show this one right here. You'll see this is my mobile. Successfully, we are able to display ad. You'll see wonderful, right? So, if you are doing in this way, 100 percentage you'll get success. You're not going to get any kind of exception or error in your application, right? And one more thing is if you change uh, the orientation again the activity is going to recreate at that also you should handle this one for the purpose already they are giving some kind of java code here you can understand this one you'll see whenever the activity is recreating these methods are executing again suppose on resume if it is going to the background on pause and on this side at that time simple in the add view class again we have a methods called on uh, resume method pause method on this time method these kind of methods you can use thank you for watching uh, if you want to see more Android concepts and more videos on Android, just you can go to my blog and here you can check it out. Some more examples, maps, uh, web services examples, and other videos. Thank you for watching.